okay it worked just fine so uh, I'm presuming it's working now because uh, my frame rates are bottoming into the low double digits um, this is cave number one let's introduce you to cave number one properly there is the boathouse there is cave number one Do, 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 do. Ooh, a lamb is trapped in the bottom of the cave. We'll save you later, lamb. Anyway, upon getting to the bottom of this cave, I found the cool thing. The first cool thing. There's a zombie around here somewhere. I hear him hear him moaning at me. He is so upset. I'm hiding behind this little door blockade here, which keeps out ships and cows and monsters, was a dungeon. Da -da -da. They don't look like this. Um, this is a redesigned dungeon. I rebuilt it, uh, repurposed it. Uh, those are the chests I found in the dungeon, but they're empty now. Swords out, gentlemen. This is a monster spawning room. Um, dungeons have monster spawners in them. This one, specifically, is a spider spawner. And when they get spinning really quickly like they are right now, and it's dark enough, um, which it is not at the moment, so swords out will make it dark. Monsters will spawn within, specifically in this case, spiders. There, uh, one spawned right on top of me. They will spawn within a certain number of squares. Um, I think it's 15, but I'm, I, I could be wrong, it could be 20. Uh, anyway, because of the way I've designed this to be a specifically a spider spawning area, these columns keep the spiders from getting me, but allow me to stab them right in the belly. So I can sit down here all day long, killing spiders, which, well, really haven't bothered to do, because it just hasn't been necessary. I would like to find a skeleton spawning dungeon, because arrows and bones are a lot more useful than spider eyes and uh, string, but... Uh, so anyway, we have an unlimited amount of string and spider eyes. Then I explored down here, and there was some coal, and there was some iron, and I mined it. La dee da, nothing special, very boring. Um, the only cool thing down in this cave was the spider dungeon, which is pretty damn cool. Um, that's where you know we found this, the saddle, and uh, the music desk. So block that off. So anyway, then uh, I crossed this little water area, which um, I thought looked cool, so I didn't block it off. I left it there. And started coming up here, and mined out some coal and some iron. And then I got to here, and I started hearing some sounds, like uh, zombies beating on doors, which zombies can do. Um, if a zombie spawns close enough to a door, it will just, you know, absolutely go berserk trying to kill it. So I made it to the end here, planted... Uh, torch and was making my back and you know basically right about here I heard the zombie sounds the loudest so I'm thinking well maybe somehow I missed a village on top of the island so I started digging my way up diggy dig 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 our way up diggy dig dig and I was circling around and it's dark out circling around to try and find where the monsters were coming from and I couldn't so I circled around upstairs for a bit thinking well maybe there's an abandoned mine, you know, tunnel down here or something with, uh, stairs. I mean, with, uh, doors. And, uh, because that's what they beat. They beat doors, not stairs. And I came upon cave number two, which I knew was here, and I had thrown a torch at the top of it. Three torches marks it as special. So I decided to explore cave number two, and I came down here. do to do to do do to do um, there's a bunch of my uh, coal here that I mined out on my way back, and from right here is where I fought the spider jockey. I just kind of leaned out around the corner and poked him in the belly because he was too dumb to come around the corner. And uh, came down here and I built this little bridge over the waterfall so that I wouldn't obstruct the water. And I was coming down here when I spotted this a stronghold area which I decided not to explore at the moment I decided to keep exploring came across through here lava so I, I opened up this area a bit mined it out made it a bit safer 
to move around the lava. And I came down over here and I saw... Crap. That was in the wrong spot. Anyway, right down there, where I've got a skelly looking at me. Stupid skelly. Come on, skelly. Come on. Come on, you, you can come back up here. It's safe for you. I promise I won't poke you too much in the face. Yeah, he's not coming back up. Anyway, as you see, I, I, I went down there and I planted a couple torches. And I was overlooking the uh, stronghold area. When, like, six creepers came boiling out of the dark. So I ran back up here and built this little rock, this little, little dirt enclosure to um, keep it safe. And I'll explore that later, but that'll be one of the things you peeps votes on. So I uh, explored the rest of this cave, and it's boring up here. And um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I saw some coal down over there, and down in the walls, and down in here. So I came around the side, and dug my way down to it, and got this coal, and got all the coal from back here. And just dug a little window here so I didn't have to put up any torches in this stretch of wall. Because lava gives off light. Precious light. So I have all the lavas I could ever want. Um, which is useful. Lava is a uh, non-renewable resource. So it uh, has its definite uses. Anyway, this was cave number two. Second cave I explored had another cool thing. And, well, that was it for the cool things, uh, pretty much. But I will show you cave number three and four here in a moment. Since we're upstairs, and I hear something running. Zombie! Zombie! Come on, zombie, come get some. Come at me, bro. See, zombies are pretty, pretty pointless and easy to beat. Yes, raw maze, we hear yous. Ooh, we're starving to death. Let's get some food in us. Nom 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 nom. All that jumping around and fighting. Uh, well, while we're here... Figure out where I'm at exactly. Yeah, while we're here, we can go ahead and check out uh, cave number four. Which is a bit of a letdown. But I knew it was going to be a bit of a letdown just from surface exploring. Anyway, this is cave number four. I didn't even bother to put torches up in here. So, we'll throw a torch up while we run through. No, la 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 la. Torch, and that is cave number four. Worst cave ever. Alright. Now, let's uh, carefully explore. And uh, cave number three is in this general direction. There's a torch near it. So, we'll spot it when we get there. Um, die, die, zombie, die! See, zombies are actually pretty easy to kill if you know what you're... Crap. If you don't get swarmed. And if your sword isn't about to break and there's a spider coming up behind you. And run away, run away, run away. Oh, there's a zombie over there with iron armor and a weapon of some kind. Alright, he needs to die. Crap, and now I got skeletons on my ass, and a spider on my ass. Crap, crap on a stick. Crap. God damn you, spider. Off into the water. Stop that jumping. That's the danger of spiders. If they're too close chasing you, um, they can actually catch you because they can jump two slots forward faster then uh, you can run. All right. Uh, it's safe enough. Do, do, do. Grab our almost broken sword and our other almost broken sword. Make a nowhere near as broken sword. Yep, yep. That's uh, a skelly shooting at me from somewhere. There he is. Jam him. Jam right up in his face. Don't let him shoot. And that's how you deal with skellies. That, by the way, is not how you deal with creepers. Um, you can deal with spiders that way. Uh, you will get a face full of fang, and they will bite you a couple times, but it's generally 
like doable. See? Crap! I had a keyboard glitch. Didn't let me actually stop moving forward. But see, I got a face full fang, but he died. And there's uh, cave number three. See if we can't find that armored zombie again. Maybe find him alone. There he is. I seize him. Oh, it's an armored skelly. Armored skelly, eh? He's going to be a bit more dangerous. No armors. No armors. Well, that's a bit of a letdown. All that work for nothing. Oh, and see, arrows can, uh, when fired, can jam into the sides of things. Creeper. And I will show you the creeper dance. On him, hit him, run. Hit him, run. Because you get too close, they start hissing and then they will explode. I don't know if you can see it, but they're doing... he does this little, uh... kind of puffs himself up thing. And, uh... when he puffs up too much, he blows up. But if you back off fast enough, he'll deflate. <sighs> so many monsters over there. So we're gonna go around the little pond this way. Oh, a hidden nook, a little dangerous spot that a monster can uh, fall into, spawn in, and then when the sun comes up, it is uh, safe from harm. Those are most dangerous in prairies, because this grass, the way it generates, it'll hide little nooks and caves like that, so you can't see it. So you'll overlook your lands and go, oh, there's no monsters here, and there's just a little hidden area with monsters in it pain in the butt. Um, swamps. The danger in swamps is things like this, see? Monster hiding under the tree. And the moment he comes out into the sun, he catches on fire. Um, the other danger in swamps is water. Um, monsters can stand in a pond all day long and not catch on fire. Crap, where the hell is that other area. Oh, you're going to be a pain, aren't you? Jam, you right in that tree. Where the hell is that cave? It's right along in this area somewhere. Um, we're going to kill this zombie and then we're going to make some more food because we're starving to death. Huh? Well, we're not starving to death, but uh, we're not regenerating health like we should. Nom 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 nom. Uh, sword's almost broken again. Switch to a new sword. Sword's out. The cave is right around here. Um, I'm looking for a torch. If you spot the torch, just uh, speak up. Oh, there it is. And uh, it's another boring cave, so we'll just you know run in it real quick. Uh, give you the quick tour, the the nickel tour. Um, there was a bunch of coal up in that corner. Dug it all out. And this is basically just a bunch of gravel. Okay, that was it. Um, you've seen all the caves in the swamp area of the island. There's a couple more caves out there that I have not yet explored. You've seen the two cool things! The spider uh, dungeon and the stronghold. And now, um, give me a moment, I have to actually scratch my eye. So, hold on. Alright. Itchy eye. I'll show you the mushroom land real quick.